Hello everyone, welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Jason. All right, so for this question, we have a simply supported beam down here and subjected to concentrated load as well as uniform distributed load, okay? So um, the question is we're looking for the location of maximum moment, okay? So the, hit, the, the plan is we're going to figure out the reaction at support first, okay, uh, reaction here, this code RA, and this is RB, right? We're going to find out the reaction first, and then we can move on to um, sketch up our shear diagram, okay? And the reason we're doing this is because we are looking for the zero shear location, okay? Because, you know, at zero shear location, that's where the maximum moment is going to happen, okay? Because in your uh, moment diagram, the maximum moment would have uh, zero slope, right? And zero slope stands for zero shear, okay? So all you have to do is find out where is the zero shear happens, and that's where the maximum moment will be, okay? All right, so here there's the plan. Um, so first of all, let's take a look at the reaction first, okay? So um, I'm going to determine RB first by taking moment as support A, okay? So uh, the equilibrium equation can look like this. You have 15 kip concentrated load times moment R to support A, which is 10 feet, plus 1.2 kip per foot times 30 foot times 15 feet for moment arm and then divided by 30 feet and this is your RB and then this is going to be 23 kip okay and then you can use this equation the force equilibrium equation in y direction to determine RA so you have one point uh, I'm sorry, 15 kip plus 1.2 kip divided by 1.2 kip per foot uh, times 30 minus 23 kip, and this is your RA, so you have 28 kip. Now you know this is 28 kip, this is 23 kip, okay? All right, so next step we're moving to our shear diagram. Here is the uh, the shear diagram that I down for you. So start from the uh, left hand side. The the shear uh, is going to be 28 kip due to the reactions that support A, and then uh, you will experience in the uh, uniform distributed load with a linear slope, which is 1.2 kip per foot, okay, and then before this concentrated load comes into play, the the shear at this point, 10 feet away from uh, support A will be 16 kip. So how do I come up with 16 kip? That will be 28 kip minus 1.2 kip per foot times 10 feet, okay? So that's 16 kip, okay? So at this point, before the 15 kip concentrated load comes into play, you'll have a shear force 16 kip. And after that, with the concentrated load 15 kip, you will have a sudden drop on shear diagram by uh, 15 kip. So at this point, it is going to be one kip, okay? All right? And beyond this point, the uniform distributed load will still involve. So start with 1 kip and minus 1.2 kip per foot times 20 foot, you get minus 23 kip, right? That's where your uh, shear value at this point, which is also the reaction that support B, okay? All right, so now... And this diagram, you know that this is going to be the zero shear location, 
and that will be your maximum moment location okay so because you already know this is um, 10 feet right that's the distance between the concentrator load and support A so this is 10 feet but you still have to uh, figure out the distance from concentrator load to zero shear okay so uh, what I'm going to use is to um, to assume that this distance is X okay and then one kip minus 1.2 kip per foot times X and that should equal to zero okay and by using this equation we determine that X is 1 divided by 1.2 feet so that's 0.84 feet right so now you know that zero shear is at 10 feet plus 0 0.84 feet so that's 10.84 feet away from left okay and this is going to be 10 feet 10 inches okay all right so your answer is b okay all right so that's it for today thank you for watching